Hey guys and welcome to Campecaport in Mallorca. I'm staying in the BQ Hotel in Campecaport. Not that BQ, I'm not staying in a hardware shop. BQ is a hotel chain here in Mallorca, there's also one in Malaga as well. It's an absolutely beautiful hotel. But I'm going to show you around in this video what you can see, what you can explore in Camp Pickleport. But firstly, where is Camp Pickleport? Well, Camp Pickleport is on the island of Mallorca. It's on the eastern side and it's the other side to Palma de Mallorca where you're likely going to fly into. It's about 60 kilometers away or about an hour's drive from Palma. It's not far from Alcudia as well, but there's plenty to see and explore in this region. So. Come with me, let's see what there is in Camp Pickford. Taking a walk along the promenade here at Camp Pickford. Enjoy the views by the beach, there's a few shops as well that you can see. The beaches here in Camp Pickford have a beautiful golden sand which are comfortable for sunbathing and relaxing. And the beaches are complemented by the crystal clear Mediterranean Sea which is perfect for swimming in during the summer months. There are also lockers available on the beach for a small fee. So if you decide to go for a swim or have a little snooze while sunbathing, you can rest assured that your belongings will be safe and sound. Walking along the promenade, there's plenty of shops, bars and restaurants to enjoy. I'll show you some of my favourites later on in the video. So right behind me is the Bay of Alcudia and the Mediterranean Sea. Now one thing I didn't actually know is that the Mediterranean has very, very low tides, almost to the point of not being tidal. Because of its shallow moving out into the Atlantic and the Strait of Gibraltar, the tides only vary between about 40 centimetres at a time, which is about 11 inches. So what you'll find across all of the beaches across the Mediterranean is that the tides really don't come in or out. You're not going to have a high tide or a low tide, really. It is what it is. 40 centimetres is practically nothing. And so here at Camp Pickford, it's perfect, it's ideal to be able to sunbathe, to go swimming in the sea and not have to worry about the tides coming in. There are lots of art installations and historical monuments along the coast here in Camp Pickford. These are signposts with a QR code, so if you want to learn a bit more about their history and significance, you can do with just the tap of your phone or you can go up and explore these artworks or monuments at face value. By way of sports, there's plenty to do in Camp Pickafort. Along the promenades, there's a separate lane for joggers and cyclists. There's also an outdoor gym and there's also an area to rent boats and paddle boards. More information and links to book are in the description below. Around Camp Pickafort, there's plenty of wall art on display and it's a nice touch to the area and they're constantly adding more art displays. Here's one that was being added during my stay in the area. Time to unwind with Sangria. Hey hey, back again and we're taking a walk along Camp Pickford during the evening time. Very chilled out, so let me show you around what you can enjoy at the night time. Here's my first pick of a brilliant restaurant to eat and drink at, Caspadri. This cute restaurant has sweeping views of the Mediterranean Sea and surrounding mountains. There are a number of rocking chairs available that can be used to chill out on with a glass of sangria to hand whilst watching the waves clap against the shore. The food is a bit pricey, but the quality, service and views make it well worth it.
Hey guys, so I'm on another beach. So this is just slightly away from Camp Pickford. To me, it's a much nicer beach. Just look at those golden sands. The reason why there's no one there, it's 9 p.m. Um, the sun has gone in or is just about to go in. So yeah, no one's gonna be sun lounging now. I wanna catch the sunset, I wanna share it with you. The sun, uh, it's broken, so it's not gonna be a brilliant sunset, um, but should still be fair enough views to see. So let's see what we can, uh, what we can enjoy, what we can see. Just can't beat that sunset that is right behind me there. And that is something that is brilliant about here in Camp Pickleport. You could stay here all night just watching it. And now for my second quirkier restaurant pick. Another little gem in Camp Pickleport, Trotter's Bar. All themes on Only Fools and Horses. Now it's time to discover an absolutely fascinating and hidden gem. Though not strictly in Camp Pickerfort, this historic landmark is just a short walk from Camp Pickerfort in Santa Margalida. It's the Necropolis de Son Real, dating back to the 7th century BCE, making it over 2,600 years old. Hey, so strictly speaking, we're not in Camp Pickerfoot anymore. We've moved along the coast, but this is an absolute must whilst you're staying in Camp Pickerfoot. This is the Necropolis de San Real. It is absolutely stunning and a hidden gem that you absolutely must visit. It's about a 30 minute walk from Camp Pickerfoot itself. You do have to walk along the beach. It can be a bit pebbly at times, but it is definitely well worth it. And just check out these views and the sunset that I'm getting right now. Absolutely stunning. Enjoy yourself while you're here. You can explore the necropolis at your own leisure. It's completely free of charge to wander around and there are signposts which give a little bit of history and insight into the place. However, make sure that you don't climb or jump on the tombs as it is an archaeological site and the Mallorcan authorities are working hard to ensure that the site is preserved for many more centuries to come. So the Necropolis de Son Real is actually a 7th century BCE grave and it's a war grave. It's absolutely incredible to think how old it is, to think that you can walk in the steps of history. It's so well preserved as well and definitely well worth a visit whilst you're here in the north part of the island and especially within walking distance of Camp Pickerfoot. So when you plan your trip right here to Camp Picafort and the north of the island, there's so much for you to see. There's the beach, there's the sea, there's the boutique shops, but there's also so much more. There's so many trails, there's a lot of history that you can discover. You're in for a great trip. You're gonna have a great time right here in Camp Picafort. I've been Mike the Traveling Scouser, and you, like you always are, have been awesome. I'll catch up with you next time. Ciao for now.